children do you have? Your Honor, I got 12 sons. And I, I got, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got 12 sons. I have 15 daughters. I have 12 sons. When 23-year-old Jasmine Cotton met 39-year-old Nathaniel Smith more than two years ago, she instantly fell in love. The pair quickly moved in together, had a child, and then married. Jasmine says no other man ever made her feel as special as Nathaniel did. That is, until she discovered she wasn't so special after all. I have a son that's eight months, and he has a son that's one years old. So obviously, he had the other little boy while we were together. Jasmine says enough is enough. You don't play with nobody. You don't sit there and do that. After I disappear, your damn kids, you don't do that. Today on Divorce Court. Come to order. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Jasmine Cotton and Nathaniel Smith. The two of you have been married for approximately a year and a half. You did, however, separate after two months. And, uh, uh, and we're, we're here today because you want a divorce. Uh, you have some financial issues you would like me to resolve. But before we do that, I'm going to start with you, Ms. Cotton. Why don't you tell me how you two got together in the first place? Um, I say it was February in 2011. I was living in these apartments, and he was living across the street from one of his kid's mothers, um, even though he didn't tell me that at the time. Well, who um, did he say she was? I Actually, Yon, I never seen her. Oh, okay. Keep saying her. Keep going. I Keep never going. seen her at that time. Keep going. But um, I used to walk my daughter to the school, um, to the bus stop, and he'll see me. He'll make little jokes, because that's what he do. He makes up jokes just to keep everybody laughing. Um, so we ended up changing numbers, and he came to my house, and we got to talk, and he was talking about his ex and how they was about to get married, because that's what he tells all his women, that he's going to marry them. So he seen I didn't have a vacuum cleaner, and he brought a vacuum cleaner over, and um, he did my eyebrows, and he got to talking. And he did your eyebrows? Yeah, because... <laughs> That's a whole new move, Mr. Smith. <laughs> I mean, you know, but, but, but if, 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 if that, if that, is that all it takes to get somebody to do somebody's eyebrows? No, I mean, that's, that's, no. I mean man, it's, it's vacuum a new cleaner move. and eyebrows is like, dang, that's all you got to do? Now, <laughs> how long did you know him before you married him? Well, it's been like, what, a year and a half? Before you married him? Yeah. Okay. So go ahead, tell me what. So around that time, we end up, you know, having sexual intercourse, and I end up getting pregnant. Did he have any children with other women? Yeah, he was bringing them over to my house. He used to, I used to watch his kids while he cut well, hair. Well, how many kids did he bring over to your house while you were dating him? <laughs> I say about eight. Eight? Eight? It was, it was probably more than that, Your Honor. I keep no, my kids no. with me. I, you know, oh, I love now he's all. lying. Wait, 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 hang on, Mr. Smith. Well, how many children do you have? Your Honor, I got 12 sons. And I, I, I got, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got 12 sons and I have 15 daughters. I have 27 all together. Yeah. She knew, you know, she, now, I don't, now, I don't now, hide nothing from nobody else getting involved with. How do you keep them straight, Mr. Smith? How do you keep them straight? Well, um, I, I, I brought evidence. I got, you know, I got a little sum, a little, a little family chart. tree, a little chart. Do we have that? Oh, we do. <laughs> oh, okay. We've got it on the screen Same now. Thank you, guys. Now, so we got the tree here. Correct. And we got Nate at the bottom, because you created all of it. That's me. Okay. <laughs> then we have one, two, three, four. And that's it right there. That's it. You, oh. So you have four women that have more than one, of, more than correct, one child correct. with that's you. Correct. That's it. If we get to counting, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen babies, mothers? Kids, mothers, yes. Okay. Now, Miss Cotton, <laughs> if, if you knew we had these many children while you were dating, what made you, you think good husband material? Thank you. Because Thank you. To be honest, to, to be honest, I feel that I was young at the time, and I believe that he preys on young women. I'm not saying he's not a horrible man, mm -hmm. but... Um, when you say he preys on young women, what do you mean? I was 20 years old. He told me everything I wanted to hear. Mm -hmm. um, he's seen that I was single mother. I have a six-year-old that has cerebral palsy. He's seen that I was mm -hmm. struggling. I mean, I just believe that he does. Most of his kids' mothers are young, you know, mm -hmm. and... Let me ask you this. 
do you have any children that are the same age amongst all of these women? Oh, definitely. I had a spurt where, you know, Your Honor, how many, like, uh, I, how, many uh, how many children do you have right now that are the same age? Uh, five. When the voice call continues, just how busy has Nathaniel been? Who got five different women pregnant in the same year? Correct. Wow. Have you changed your behavior? And later. See, that's the whole thing. I'm manipulating women. Everything's a game. Like he said, LOL, you don't play with nobody. You don't sit there and do that. And so I took care of your damn kids. You don't do that. You don't play with nobody. You don't play with nobody. If so, call toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com or become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Divorce Court is back with the case of Jasmine Cotton, who claims her husband Nathaniel is a baby-making machine. But Nathaniel contends Jasmine is exaggerated and says he's slowed his role tremendously. My last three kids were, uh, I didn't have a, a child for like three, four years. Like, we just started again. Uh, it was like, you know. Wow. So you have five kids that are the same age. Correct. So you had a good year. I mean, I mean yeah, I guess you could say that in, uh, you see, they you know, got five different women numbers. pregnant in the same year. Correct. Wow. Have you changed your behavior? Yeah, I mean, I don't have any other kids outside of, you know, other than her. I mean, I had a, before, before Jasmine, Jasmine, and I had been w with them, I, in between me and her relationship, I had messed with other people. I only had, my last three kids were, uh, I didn't have a, a, a child for like three, four years. I, we just started again or whatever, so it was like, you know. Wow. And man, he is, ja Jasmine, he is serious. Your Honor, he is serious. But look, Your Honor, you well, know Well, let me saying? ask you this, Mr. Smith. Out of all these other children's mothers. Right. You never married any of them. Right. Why her? Um, yeah, true enough. You know, she was stayed across the street from me. I was staying with who I was staying with or whatever. Jasmine seen me all the time. She seen me. Like, everybody is like, we are right across the street. It's like, her apartment is like where you at. My apartment is like basically where the back is. So it's like we right there. She saw me every day well, all the time. what has that got to do with picking her? Well, I mean, we just, you know, I, who Proximity? I was with. Proximity? She was close? Let me marry I her? I mean, not only, not only that, but who I was with, I, we wasn't even together. I was staying with somebody. We wasn't even, we, we weren't together. I was just staying with them. We just got close. Like she said, we kicked it. We did all types. Then we got, you know, he, we got he, sexually involved. I ended up moving. She ended up moving with me. You, you know? still didn't answer okay, question. Let, let, let me, me. Let, let me Why just you? Me. I seen a lot of good in her that, you know what I'm saying? It was, I, I seen things that. I, did, just, I felt she was a good was woman. Was one she of did. the things you saw money? No, she didn't have no money. She didn't have a job. She hadn't had a, a job where she well, was not since we've been together. My feeling I got from what I read is that you feel that he married you because he thought you were about to come into some money for your baby. Is I that believe so because when we was actually there getting married, I can see it that he really didn't love me. Like... Mr. Smith, did the possibility of economic assistance uh, for that child played any role in your decision to marry this woman? Your Honor, she wasn't giving me the money. What she lied wa about was she had been on the phone for a full week uh, in the morning talking to uh, a fictitious uh, attorney about some money about, you know, her daughter. And after a while, I just finally asked her, who are you on the phone with? What are you talking about? So she said... I, you remember what I was telling you about? Um, I was supposed to be getting some money from my, you know, her uh, her daughters and everything. So I was like, yeah. She said, well, her Tony, she, I guess this was she was supposed to have got the money some years back, but um, they were they weren't going to give her the money because the daughter had to be either 18 or she had to show proof that she was married or whatever. I said, well, why do you have to be married to get your daughter's money? She told me she said because that was I guess it was too much money for her to be getting for her. So I'm like, you, you grown, yeah, Jasmine. Right, you know, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. You're you grown. Know. Ms. Cotton, I don't know what you told him or what some attorney told you, if you were talking to an attorney or not, but all I would say is this, number one, God bless you for taking care, because that is a very difficult situation to have. Number two, you are entitled to, you know, disability benefits and all of that for a child that's born with, with those kind of difficulties, but make sure you take care of that business before you even think about him or anybody else, okay? I just wanted to say that. now.
You say he is a habitual cheater, Ms. Cotton. Why don't you explain that to me? <laughs> what? Well, he's been cheating since I met him. But the reason why I say he's a cheater, um, I have a son that's eight months, and he has a son that's one year old. So obviously he had her, I mean, had the other little boy while we was together. When divorce court continues, can Judge Wayne get Nathaniel to stay on course? What was the question that I just asked you that started this entire dialogue? About the, um, yes, um, You have no idea, do you? Would you marry someone who has 27 kids? Call 1-800-282-1991 to vote now and see if America agrees with your opinion. Also receive some valuable offers. Call now. If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll free at 1 877 311 2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and follow us on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court returns with the case of Jasmine Cotton, who says her husband Nathaniel does nothing to support her and the kids. But why is Nathaniel singing a different tune? I have to take you out and clothe the kids. I'm oh, Jay, Jay, you don't have to she, she just started this year, Your Mr. Smith, you do say in your papers that she is a habitual liar. Yes. Can you give me some examples of the things that she doesn't tell the truth about? Um, age, uh, you know what I'm saying? She's sitting up here lying to you right now, but she had her own cousin. She was lying to her own cousin about her age. I'm just now Did she lie out. to you about her age she when lied. you first met her? No. I started messing with who, my kid's mother, who I was with the one-year-old, while she was in um, Vegas with her grandma and her mother or whatever. We had been apart. We were, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, I'm not waiting on, you know, it ain't no time. What? We wake up so much off and on. I so this she, other woman got pregnant though, I'm while you just, guys were on a break, is right. what you're trying to tell yeah, me. Break yeah, break or whatever. You know what I mean? Oh Child, creating children during breaks is not a really good Your way Honor, to go. I mean, Theo, we, I wasn't cheating, but we wasn't together at this point. We wasn't, and it's nothing but, but, that she but, but hasn't it's, done. It's not, it's not an issue of cheating, it's an issue of responsibility. Right. I'm married to somebody right. and I impregnate somebody else. It's a problem. Correct, you, but like she said, I was. She said, I'm a, I'm a cheater as many times as see, Jasmine. She's very absent-minded. She's. What, I've, what, I've what was the question that I just asked you that started this entire dialogue? About the um, what did you ask me? Um, you have no idea, do you? I mean, you've been. I, we, it, it's like we're not even here uh, about the divorce. We're here about my kid. That's what it's. That's what it's seeming like, you know. Well, and we're not here like, because no, Mr. of my Smith, kid. It seems like that because you're not paying attention. I just asked you. You said she's an habitual liar, right. and I wanted you to give me examples of that. Now we're off on a tangent. Right. This is your opportunity to present your position well, with she, respect she, to her. She's lied. She's Jasmine has. She's had uh, breast cancer before. She lied about getting surgery about her breast cancer. She put you know lied about her sickness or whatever. She lied about having to go get surgery. She doesn't go to the surgery. Here we are today. It's like if you miss out on a breast cancer surgery. Why are you even still alive today? Right. She's like, you know. And you say, Mr. S <laughs> and you say, Mr. Smith, that she is selfish and she doesn't take care of your kids. To explain that to no, me. No, she's not. She don't take care. I don't take care of my uh, kids. No, listen. Let me tell you, what, your, your Honor. When I first, like, who? How long do you? When I first met Jasmine, she didn't have, you know, she didn't have nothing, no anything. I didn't it wasn't about no game or anything. I came in as a man, as I was <laughs> messing with her. I seen a lot of needs. I took care of those you needs, you know, you know, I was part. Why would you mess around with somebody and, you know, uh, well, women, they do do it, but why would you get involved with somebody and they're not helping you do anything? I helped take care, I've clothed her kids, I've oh. clothed Jazz. Jazz, you don't have a job. She's a, she just started working this year, Your Honor. She yeah. hasn't had a 40 a week job since. She's it's quit two jobs since we've been kids. together. your two kids. Why you was out with another woman? She has two kids. Hey, 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 Mr. Smith, Mr. Smith, Mr. Smith, Mr. Smith. Can I, can I talk? Can I, no, can you I cannot please? talk because I'm trying to talk. No, I mean uh, over You won't her. answer my question. You just start talking but and you go off on a tangent. I don't know how you get so many women. You get, I mean, I'm, I'm ready to run now. Well, I'm not always being attacked, you know, you know, it's just like, you know. I mean, what, I mean, you. When divorce court continues, what triggers Jasmine to lose control of her emotions? Don't think I'm playing with nobody. He thinks this is a gang. He's trying to make y'all laugh. But it, it's not about this. It's about my kids and these 27 kids. I he hates it. Seven kids. Call 1-800-282-1991 to 
vote now and see if America agrees with your opinion. They'll also receive some valuable offers. Call now. Divorce Court returns with the case of Jasmine Cotton, who's ready to divorce her husband, Nathaniel Smith, because she claims he sees no problem with fathering 27 children and doing little to take care of them. She don't want to get divorced right now. She got, I got text messages. What is that I, I have got up no, here that, that says, was, girl, like she said. you ain't trying to divorce me, I can tell, LOL. Write me a 500-page essay and post it on Facebook, and I'll say. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, that's She's funny right there. I'm not that. Is that, is it, did that sound like me pleading? I got a smiley face up there. I got an LOL up there. I'm just, she was, she already wrote the essay. You know what I'm saying? But she already, she already wrote the essay. She, look, she's a play, she, Jasmine texts me all the time. She don't want to get divorced. M she don't want to get divorced. Ms. Cotton, did you write the essay? No. So you didn't write them letters? You know, I, I don't have no letters. To be honest, that was letters before, way before he ever wrote that. See, that's no, the whole no, thing of no, manipulating no. women. Everything's a game. Like he said, LOL, you don't play with nobody. You don't sit there and do that. After I took care of your damn kids, you don't do that. You don't play with nobody. I took care of your kids. You don't spend you money on my kids. Just, just listen to him. You don't sit there okay. and play with nobody. He thinks it's a gag. He's trying to make y'all laugh. But it, it's not about this. It's about my kids and these 27 kids I he making and leaving. It's not fair that he do this to women. I'm young, and, and I know y'all ask me why I got married, because I love him, but at the end of the day, I'm not about to keep playing games with him. I'm I getting older. I have a daughter that needs needs. There I'm you not going to play. Right. That's what I'm I not wanted play. to hear. This is a game to him. This is not no game to me. Ms. Ms. Cotton, this is not no game. That is what I wanted to hear, and I, and I want to hear it, and I don't want you ever to get off that note. I want you to move <laughs> forward. Don't let him get near you or next to you because he's not what you need, and he's not going to help. You've got a little girl who needs you to be economically and emotionally secure, and this cat's not doing it for you. If he calls you, don't answer. If he writes you, don't read it. If he texts you, delete it. You hear me, Mr. Smith? You hurt people. You do. You get young girls. You tell them the right things. No, you bring them. No, yes, true. you do. I'm not asking you to speak. I'm telling you what it is. And you've got this many mothers in a community that cannot tolerate it anymore. It will collapse under that. You have no right to do what you've done, no. and you have no right, right to continue to do so. And I don't want to hear another word about it. That's it, that's all, that's the story. Why don't you tell me, uh, Ms. Cotton, what, what you are seeking from Mr. Smith at this time? Um, right now, um, since we married, I can't get any um, child care assistance because, with the, you know, both of them, sure. we both have to work. So right now I'm paying for daycare by myself. Um, so just, I mean, just make me have Send so something. Just send me something. Do, do a little something. You're asking for $105 a week for a total of $2,520, and you wanted to do that for six months. Mr. Mr. Smith, what do you have to say about that request? I already take care of my son. I don't, you know, I take, I help her take care of her child. All that crying and everything, that's, she's selling that stuff. I take but economically, care of my, I take, economically, how much money does she get from you? Economic. I, all his, his wardrobe is from me. I put out my best with my, my child. I take care of Caleb. Caleb is with me three or four times a week. Mr. Smith, if any of that is true, then what I'm about to say won't bother you at all. Till the divorce is complete and she can get a support award, I am going to give her not what she asked for, because you do have a lot of obligations in a variety of different uh, areas. I am going to award her $200 for the next six months for the help to care for that child. Uh, do, do it better. Think men aren't important. Children are t get that together. Get your education together. Take care of them. Don't don't worry about being with a guy because they're not helping you out right now. So there will be twelve hundred dollars in favor of Miss Cotton. It is so ordered. All right. Parties may leave the courtroom.